Hey everyone, it's Jessie. So a few days back I had posted about a yarn that I bought from Mary Maxim and that I'd be sharing with you a project that I am working on and I'm so excited to share that with you today. I got my project bag all ready here and I did start the project but I didn't get very far. Now first I'm going to share with you the yarn that I bought. It's from Mary Maxim called prism and it is beautiful so here is the yarn and if you notice it's different colors on the outside um, this one has the blue on the inside and this one has the uh, pinkish colors on the inside I find this yarn so beautiful so let's read a little bit about it it is a hundred percent acrylic 290 yards it's made in turkey it is a light three weight and the care instructions say to hand wash in cool water and lay flat to dry it is very soft very soft I can't believe how soft it is I love it so much and it, if you look closely, well, it, it's got a little bit of like a halo on it. Very nice. And I find the colors so beautiful. I can't get over the colors. The color changes. That teal, it's like a teal turquoise color and um, tans and like a pinkish Kind of like a pink color very nice i love it so much now oh and also, also has looks like it has some uh some a little bit of black and a little bit of gray in there too looks like my label's coming out there that's okay now how did i hear about this yarn if you've heard of MJ's Off the Hook Designs, that's how I heard about it. She has a Granny Pop V-neck sweater that I am so excited about making right now. And she also has a crochet along that started on, a, I believe it was September 7th and goes till the 21st. Now, you can make these sw sweaters anytime. You, it doesn't have to be only during the crochet along. So, but I wanted to get on here and talk about it and let you guys know if you wanted to join that and sign up. I'll have all the details in the description below. And also she has a YouTube video that walks you through how to make it. And it's, so the crochet along is actually called, I believe the Granny Pop Collection, something on those terms. And she has the Granny Pop V-neck, um, the Granny Pop pullover, a granny pop hoodie, and goodness, she has a, a granny pop shawl, and also some little sweaters that you can make for your little ones, so for your children, and it's a beautiful collection. She's such a great designer, and I'm so excited to get started. So let me share with you what I've gotten done so far. Not very much. Oh, and also I don't normally do gauge when I make a wearable, but, and that was only because I didn't quite understand the entire thing or, or how to, how that worked. But I did do a gauge for this sweater and Michelle at MJ's Off The Hook Designs, she has a video that walks you through the gauge for this. So if you're a little worried or a little nervous about the gauge, she walks you through it and it's, it's wonderful. And these sweaters are all oversized. They're supposed to be oversized. Some people I know, she has a, um, a Facebook group where a lot of people are sharing their progress on their sweaters. And some people are, you know, just kind of tweaking it and making it their own and making the, the oversized sleeves, they're decreasing it so it's, you know, more, more of a straight sleeve. Um, and they're doing all kinds of things. So you can definitely make it your own. 
And so for gauge, I am, I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook and I believe she has you start out with a five millimeter, but I'm using a size larger and I'm hoping the sweater, really hope that it turns out. <laughs> so this is how far I've gotten. Now, if you can, if I'm able, I'll try to insert a picture, kind of what it looks like here. When you take a look, there's a lot of holes in it, right? And I am not a huge fan of holes, whether it's blankets or shawls, if there's too many holes in it, it kind of turns me away usually. But I really loved the look of this. And I thought I would give it a shot because I thought, well, you know, sometimes if I'm at like a gathering and like a Christmas gathering or something, and there's a lot of people, I get pretty warm. And if I had a sweater that's too hot, it just wouldn't work for me. So maybe this is the answer. You just wear like a tank top underneath or a short sleeved shirt and it could be just the right temperature then for me. But I'm gonna give it a shot. So I believe this kinda goes around like this. And then you keep, at one point it's going to connect into a V-neck. And then you do like an edging later down the road. I'm not sure when, cause I haven't gotten that far. I'm taking it one step at a time. Sorry about that, my <laughs> my cat decided to cross. So yeah, so that's my progress. Not very much done, but I'm so, so excited to work on this some more. I actually, I really would, I couldn't decide what I wanted to make. Like her V-neck, it looks great. The uh, pullover looks great. However, I thought, I don't know, I don't like things up against my neck too much. So I thought, I'll, I'm not sure if I want to go with that. So I'm going to try the V-neck. But the shawl looks beautiful. I'm going to try that too. And the cardigan. Oh my gosh, the cardigan too. I love cardigans. And I actually have not wore an actual sweater in so many years. So that's why I'm a little nervous. I hope this turns out and I hope I like it. Um, but I, I love cardigans. So it's like, oh, I might make a card her cardigan one of these days too. And then the hoodie. The hoodie is just gorgeous. So so many we'll see how this first one turns out i also have some lion brand mandala cakes that i have i've had sitting around for a while and i thought that i could use that to make another pullover if i wanted to or one another granny pop whichever i decide to do so yeah i might end up doing that also and digging that out and making two at the same time i'm not sure and as far as the yarn goes, I'm not sure if it's on sale right now, but it was on sale on Mary Maxim's site when I bought it about a week ago. So you might want to check that out if you're looking at this yarn. And Michelle at MJ's Off the Hook Designs, if you sign up for the crochet along, she gives you a 20% off this yarn coupon that is good in, through September 30th. So you can check that out. And you don't have to use this yarn though. You can look for something in your stash or, you know, a different yarn like Lime Brand Man Mandala. I've seen people use that. Um, I think I've seen them use Karen. Someone talked about using Karen Simply Soft and Karen Cotton Cakes maybe. Don't quote me on that but you can check out her Facebook group and a lot of people are using yarn substitutes. And I think Michelle even has some suggestions too on that and what you can use. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys all know about it. And I'm going to try and keep you updated on my progress on the sweater. I'm going to try and do that weekly if I can. And I hope you're all having a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.